What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to display stock market information for free into your WordPress website in a simple, fast and effective way. So we can display graphics like this one present on our financial WordPress team homepage with the display the biggest stocks, some information of, about indices commodities and currencies this is the week information the day information and intraday information all powered by stockdeal.com they have an amazing free wordpress plugin on wp.org called stock market overview in fact they have a lot of plugins every single one for each purpose we're going to start learning how to use this one, that is the overview one. This is the, the things that the plugin can do. We can change the styles of the plugins, the palette of colors. We're going to proceed with that in some future, future videos. But by now, all you need to do is the fact that you can know and display information about stock markets across the globe in the way that you want and all for free. So, to begin with, we're gonna need to install this plugin. So, go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and to the search field, we're gonna type stock market overview. It's the very first one that gonna appear, but as told previously, they have a couple of plugins, every single one for every single purpose. We're gonna explore more plugins later, but let's stay with the most used and the first result. That is this one, Stock Market Overview. I am already have it installed in my network, so no need to install for me, but you're gonna need to click on the blue button to install and activate it. After plugin activation, it gonna appear into your WordPress plugins section. Right here. And if you go to your WordPress settings, into the left side of buttons, you can find the stock market overview button. On it, you're gonna be able to locate all the plugin settings and customization options. The most important thing, if you are starting, is getting your API key. What this is, it's the key that lets you collect information from their website, their market information, stock market information, and place it on your WordPress website. You need a key for it. And to get this key, you need to create a free account. You're gonna need to Display your first name, your last name, your email, your password, and repeat the password. After that, click on Create My Account blue button. Here's the information that we need, the API key, the app key. You can copy to clipboard and post into the very first option of the plugin settings. After this, save your changes and you are ready to use the plugin. But we have a lot of setups to do. For example, this one that we're gonna be selecting data to display. Let's imagine that you want to display data not about the biggest stocks on the market like Apple or Facebook, but you want to display data about small caps, for example, or other companies. You're going to set it up right there. Exactly the same thing for the currencies, the commodities, the indices. You can change the widget, alloy short, hey, you can change and set a default title. Charge hey to include a logo for the currency, for example. Include equities name, include symbol, include indices name, 
you can fully customize every single part of your display. Now have a look at this part that is the culture. I do recommend that you display this into your country culture, for example, United States, so English, the modif and the palette. This is where you're gonna be editing the styles of your graphics. The font. You can type the font name, the display prices, the intraday info, normally their graphic are quite broken, depending on the hour that you try to open it, but you can try. The days and the low data when visible. This is good to save host memory and requests. So in the case that you are optimizing your website to get the score 100 into the Google page speed size, I do recommend you place it, but no need for it. Now we have saved our chains and let's review the graphic into our financial WordPress theme homepage. And here we go. As told previously, normally when you click on this intraday information, the graphic sometimes does not load. But this is on the plugin server, so nothing to worry about it. Now, let me show you how I did display this graphic into the website. In my case, I'm using WP Bakery, so I have used the widgets at sidebar. But you can do display it on Gutenberg, Elementor or any other page builder that you like. In my case, I have used the widget Z sidebar and call it a sidebar called second extra widget. So I am displaying a widget. So you can call a widget element into Gutenberg or into Elementor or even the directly plugin option. If you go into the sidebar, you can find the stock market overview with get on it and you can drag and drop it into the place that you want to display. If you go to the new section or into the blog section, you can see the stock market information into the sidebar because as told previously, I have added it as a widget. And a widget I can display on footers, sidebars, or any part of the site that you want. Like here, that I'm displaying on sidebar. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to this plugin and many others. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos about stock market information display in WordPress. And I'll see you later. All the best.